Overwatch 2. So I've basically been trying to set up my game and, you know, optimize my settings how I, how I want them. And every time I restart the game, it defaults back to the setting. And I figured out, uh, I figured out that in documents, there's a folder called Overwatch, which is for Overwatch 1. And you can see here the date is 2021. So Overwatch, and yeah. Um, this 2021 folder, if I try to delete it with Overwatch 2 running, it doesn't let me delete it. So clearly, the settings uh, are affecting, you know, it's interfering. Uh, maybe the game can't save a new um, a new setting file. Because if you go into this old Overwatch folder from 2021, there is a settings file from 2019. And that's like the only file in here. So I don't know. Yeah, anyway, we're going to delete that. Let's open in another program. Maybe it's open in Battle.net? I don't know if it's connected to Battle.net. Try calls in Battle.net. And I'm going to try to delete it again. It's not letting me. One sec. Let's just see here. So if you, I'll, I'll, I'll do it live, how I would troubleshoot this kind of thing. We're just going to look for anything related to Blizzard or Overwatch that could be running. Or maybe it just takes a moment to close, and if I try again, yeah, there we go. We needed some time to close. So now that's done. And we'll see if I can get my settings to save now. I'm sure this is frustrating other people. Like, I looked up fixes, and then there were also fixes mentioning doing a similar thing for Overwatch 1, so this is a really old bug. Um... But they were also mentioning like making a new user account and things like that. And that's something that most people don't want to do. So hopefully if I can log in here. Now I should be able to set my refresh rate, table dynamic render scale, custom, make this on 100, set the max frame rate to let's just say 500. I'm probably not going to get that one with the 5600 x but you never know. And apply that. Oh, and I actually want to be in Portland, because that gives... I always hold the task. But run full screen if you want max performance. And then move the FSR with high level property. Let's see here, we don't want to fog. Apply that. That have collection. We do want the game to look good. So I'm not going to go ahead and tape everything, um, but we don't need shadow detail. Even though it does look nice, uh, it also does make it harder to see into buildings from certain angles. And lighting we can probably do with that down on, low, uh, on high. But I'll, I'll, I just want to test, I want to see how high lighting runs, but I'll probably turn that down low as a competitive setting later. And local reflection. On our own character model, I'm guessing. We'll leave that one one for now just to see how it runs. And damage effects on top. Okay, apply that. Turn the, the, even these settings we're resetting uh, every time. We're gonna turn those back on. Pop back there. See these things and turn off my OSP as well. Good. That a test. Test. And that'll take a moment. And the main reason for this as well is it was really jarring. Um, the game was switching to 60 hertz uh, down from my monitor's higher refresh rate, and that would cause like a a big black screen to pop up briefly before every time the game opens. And now I should be able to multitask again. There we go. I'm guessing the settings are now probably saving. Sweet. Okay, so I hope that helps you guys out and thanks for watching.